The story of every business is different, but it always starts the same with a dream. Since its inception, the Hispanic Business Initiative Fund has helped thousands of entrepreneurs write their own stories by turning those dreams into prosperous businesses. As we celebrate 25 years and begin to look toward the future, we pause to reflect on our own story. It's not just a story about an organization. It's a story about people. It's a story about community. It's a story about a dream. This organization got created by some uh, some pretty dynamic business leaders, and they led HBIF since 1991. HBI was the parent of HBIF. The Hispanic Business Institute was founded by professional and business owners. George Unanue was an economist. He's a, he was an engineer also, and still is. Uh, and he brought to the table uh, economic uh, uh, knowledge that uh, we're able to, to say how we could do this, what's going to take, uh, how can we implement it. And so Jorge uh, is the architect of uh, HBIF. And we did not conceive that HBIF would overcome HBI. In the beginning we went to, um, through Vanessa's contact with Sandy Friedman, we approached uh, Mayor Friedman and she bit into the concept, she liked the idea. She put a challenge on us. She said, um, I, I, I'll be in for $50,000 if you can match it. So we went to the county and we were able to match it and that's how we got this, this money. As the Tampa HBIF slowly began to find its footing over in Metro Orlando, an all new story was just beginning. So, you know, back in the day we had a Latin chamber and Latin Chamber was predominantly Cubans, professionals that were here. And we had the Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce. They saw the opportunity to unite these two organizations. Together, they could do more. In 1994, um, Linda Chapin challenged the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce my original proposal, which I took to Conrad Santiago and, and Mercy McCall, was perhaps a small loan or investment program, a micro-loan program. What the Chamber began to do is began to research uh, micro-lending programs throughout the United States. We reached the conclusion that um, most of the micro-loan programs in the nation failed. The primary reason why they failed was because they didn't have a strong technical assistance program. While searching for successful technical assistance programs, board member Ray Alonzo discovered the Tampa HBIF. Through them, he saw an opportunity. Ray Alonzo reached out to us and he says, hey, we have, you know, we have a team here together. We want to talk to you and we want to see what we can do because the city has said that they'll give us some money to put something together. I said to Ray, well, don't reinvent the wheel. Come over here and let's talk because we'll give you whatever you need. We are who we are because of Ray Alonso. He would say, hey, Conrad, you need to come with me to Tampa. You need to really learn about this organization because they're doing good work, you know, have a great structure. It's something that we can actually duplicate in Orlando. Um, Orlando Hispanic Chamber came over to talk to us. It was explained to them what we did, how we did it, etc., and they said, "Oh, we want to do that." Those friends were were brighter than I, uh, and they came back with an alternative proposal. In 1995, uh, Mayor Chapin and Mayor Hood decided to fund the initiative proposed by the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce then spun out uh, a new organization, created a new board, um, and began to create HBIF of Orlando. We were operating 
as two separate organizations in Tampa and Orlando. And what we wanted to do in order to increase our funding, we definitely needed to be a statewide organization. In, in 2008, um, after working collaboratively for a number of years between Tampa and Orlando, we thought it would be uh, most prudent to, to merge the two organizations into one. The merging of Tampa and Orlando expanded the reach of HBIF, but there was still something missing. We understood that in, if we really wanted to become the leading Hispanic economic development organization in the state, we needed to have a presence in South Florida. Since they started, HBIF um, has grown slowly, which is the way that you, you want to see things grow, uh, building a strong base, and uh, Augusta has done a terrific job of, of, of bringing all the right partners together. HBIF decided to expand to South Florida back in 2010, opening the office in 2011. Other cities that HBIF is serving currently is are Palm Beach, uh, Jacksonville, Fort Myers, and also the Panhandle. With its Miami office up and running, HBIF now serves entrepreneurs across Florida and has had its impact felt statewide. HBIF really is that, that, that piece of the puzzle that bridges the gap between our Hispanic community um, and our startup uh, entrepreneurs and, and allows those those people that have great ideas to put that into practice. When I think of HBIF, one of the first words that comes to mind is success. Because I think that's what we do. We provide opportunities for people to succeed even sometimes when they don't think that they can be successful. HBIF builds dreams. It actually gives people the opportunity to take their dreams and make them a reality. HBIF, without a shadow of a doubt, embodies the American dream. People are immigrating to our state, and without the resources of HBIF, I'm not sure where they're going to find technical assistance. You have a partner at HBIF who says, let's do it. We're going we're gonna to keep going. We have so many successful businesses that have gone through our program. A lot of these businesses, now that they've made it, they actually come back to our organization and either donate their time, donate their funding, right, their, their treasure, or really want to help uh, pay it forward and help other companies. I think that there's just so many um, tremendous benefits that we've gained here in Orange County and throughout the state of Florida by having um, HBIF. Wow, it's like, did I really, did we really live this? Did we really do this? Did our vision really, you know, come true and how long did it take, you know? But it doesn't seem like it took 25 years. To me, it's like it happened the other day. It hasn't always been easy, but like those entrepreneurs we've helped along the way, the Hispanic Business Initiative Fund has succeeded through hard work, determination, and the support of a growing community. But our story doesn't end here. Now we prepare to write our next chapter. Together, with your help, we will continue providing our community with the support it needs to prosper for the next 25 years and beyond.